I'm at Tiptree, yes, Wilkin and Son, and look at that, a, I was going to say a field of strawberries, and with me I've got Andre, uh, who is the farm manager up here. Andre, um, it is a field of strawberries, but just happens to be covered, isn't it? Yeah, it is a field, and one of many. It and is covered with polytunnels just to protect uh, this beautiful fruit. Now, what area have we got here, actually? The area where you, you know, looking left, right, front and back, it's uh, 10 acres. That's a lot of strawberry, isn't it? Lots of strawberries and everyone, uh, every berry needs to be picked by hand. <laughs> so let's look. <laughs> now, now we're looking at the strawberry. Uh, what variety have we actually got here? We're looking at a variety called Price here. Uh, it's a first year uh, plantation. So the variety as it develops, the plant will get bigger and will get more fruit. So this is kind of a, the, the first flush of berries, what we call it. And this is the, uh, the berries which were initiated at the propagation stage. So that was back at the propagator's field. And we'll pick the first flush. And of course, after that, we're looking for a second flush. So in, in some of the uh, crowns, as you can see there, we've got the new uh, truss coming. So this truss was initiated on site and uh, when, uh, since the berry uh, or the plant was planted and we'll see that uh, flowering and fruiting in about uh, four to five weeks. And you can see basically they're just grown in what people would see as a grow bag really, just sitting at the height so someone can pick them. Yeah, the, we, we call it a grow back and it is a grow back. It's a one meter uh, back, which is uh, got a uh, whole space that equal uh, distance. So we, we get enough uh, space for each plant uh, to get the light and everything. And uh, yeah, we use the back for two years. And after that, we dispose the back and the plant. Or we, we recycle the poly, we cut that and use the coir and the plant. Uh, it's going to the compost heat where it's composted and spread to the land as organic matter. Now, they're watered and fed. Where, where's the feed line? Does it actually come in the bottom of the bag in, in a, like a gutter form? Uh, no, the, the, the gutter is like a holding uh, mechanism uh, for the bag to support the bag to be nice and flat and also to take all the run, run off from the bag away to, for recycling or using again. But actual, uh, you can see the... the the actual uh, oh, line. The tube is actually yeah, the tube in the back. In the back, inside the back. So every drop of water is measured and put right at the root system where the plant needs it. And uh, that way, keeping it in the back, we minimize the evaporation or there's minimal loss to the atmosphere and everything it goes to the, uh, to the plant really. Absolute no wastage either, is it? Uh, we're trying to, you know, to have a zero waste. That's where the sustainability comes from. So if we not waste water and water is a scarce resource of ours because we don't have any rivers passing by us or we don't have any uh, ground uh, groundwater obstruction or even we don't have much around in, in East Anglia or Essex here or Tip Tree. So we're relying on all the uh, water which we collect from our structures, from the tunnels, where we uh, uh, store the water in the, our winter field reservoir and we use them throughout the summer. Now let's go back to the fruit. Now I know you, you, as soon as you walked in, you tasted this delicious fruit. It's called prize, you say. We've talked about how this is the first flush, you get a second flush. When were the plants actually put in here so the plants were planted beginning of march and it was a tiny small plant what we call it uh, bare root uh, 12 plus millimeter so that's the crown size and uh, it was put in the back and grown throughout the uh, march april and may through that stage initial stage you get uh, developments of fruit developments of uh, of leaf, uh, all the foliage and everything to feed the uh, the berry, and then uh, you get emerging of uh, you know trusses, uh, and then that uh, from flower it turns to small berry, and then it grows to a big berry which is ready for picking, which will be very soon. 
and we like actually tomorrow <laughs> we're actually picking here tomorrow you know <laughs> we've done the first pick uh, it was a very small pick but uh, tomorrow we it looks like we've got much more fruit to pick how long will you be able to pick this field for so uh this variety is called the ever bearer so it's uh, throwing flashes continuously it does not stop so basically you've got uh, fruit at all stages you've got uh, emerging so or, or start from uh, backwards for, so you've got red fruit green form small fruit that once you pick the reds uh, this will uh, you know grow and turn into red then you've got the stage of flowering and you've got stage where the trusses are emerging so it's keep throwing constantly fruit for the next uh, five to six months as soon as the weather you know is like this we'll see the fruit keep coming well, I think you better check another one, don't you? 